Uh, I went to Best Buy and I picked up Persona 5 Strikers. Now it says here, and am I weird for doing this? When I get these games, these stickers on the package, like I'll cut them off and stick them inside the case. And I've bought and bought and I have bought in the past games from the game store that had they done the same thing. So anyway, let's rip this thing open. We're doing this video kind of ghetto hood style. I got the phone in one hand. I'm going to try to open this with the other. Huh. I'm actually, wow, look at that. I got it. Ha! There we go. Ah! Okay. God, that feels light. I guess there's going to be a card in here with the code, so I'm going to have to blur that out or something. But ah. So, yeah, this is what you get. You get this right here. God, you'd figured for $60 you'd get some reversible cover art. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. I don't, why am I even shooting an unboxing video for this? This is this is crazy. But anyway, we do have this code here, and it's not just a single sheet of paper. It, it's probably nothing on the inside. Well, there's something. One, two, three. But you do get this. But, you know, Sega or Atlas, I expect a little bit better for $60. Like, I know this is a release. You're probably going to sell this in Walmart, Best Buy. And you got this to Best Buy. You know, you're probably going to sell this everywhere. But, you know, come on. You know, you look at other companies out there, especially a lot of those limited release companies, they're doing uh, a little bit better than this. And yeah, probably half the game is probably going to have to be downloaded. So, in the future, this probably won't be worth anything. But hopefully it's a fun game. I'll play it for a little bit and let you guys know what I think. But, uh, yeah, Persona 5 Strikers on the, uh, on the old Nintendo Switch. Okay, so Persona 5 Strikers, what do I think so far? I, honestly, pretty decent game. Now, keep in mind, I paid $60 for this at Best Buy. I did check Walmart. I should have waited. They had copies for $50. So usually new games like this, if you go to Walmart, you can get them $10 cheaper. Uh, Wisher 3, that's $60 everywhere. You can get it for $50. Um, just, just a lot of games. I mean, you, you take a Walmart, they can buy in bulk, and I'm sure they get a discount. And at least they do pass some of that discount along to their customers. So, again, for big titles like this, I'd probably say Walmart is the answer. Uh, Bravely Default, you know, when I get that, I'll probably get a Walmart to get that um, if I want to buy it anytime soon. But anyway, Persona 5 Strikers, um, you know, I've never been a big fan of the uh, the Warriors style of games, like kind of beat em up, so 99 Knights, uh, the Dynasty Warriors Gundam stuff that came out on the 360. I had a few of those games, played them. But, uh... I, I, this one kind of got to me because it, it uses the some of the mechanics from Persona 5, uh, you know, like using your personas. They just incorporate that style of gameplay into this warrior style of game. And I, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I, you know, I've only played it for a few hours at this point, but I like what I've played so far. And I will move forward and play through the entire game on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I do imagine if you got the PS4 copy, you know, that's probably going to play a lot better but for the 50 or 60 dollars that you actually pay for this game if you get it I'm, I'm assuming you know sometime soon i think you're gonna get your money's worth and again i, I really like it and i don't regret my purchase so like persona 5 strikers on the nintendo switch All right, so here I got Mighty Gunvolt Burst, and I've had my eye on this for a while. Um, saw this at the game store. I caught a few game stores over the past couple months. I didn't pre-order this one, Limited Run, had the links up, but none of the stores had it except for one, Regen and White Marsh. Uh, they're charging 60 for it. I mean, if you go online on eBay and on Amazon, it's in the like 60-ish, 65, 70, 80. It's a lot more than that. It's 60 bucks. It's like 58 after tax, so yeah, that does kind of suck, but anyway, let's crack this sucker open. Um, this looks like it's got some pretty uh, pretty heavy Mega Man vibes here, like Mega Man X type vibes. Uh, I'm trying to open this thing gorilla style. Because uh, I'm holding my phone in one hand. Uh, uh, just like the other game. All right. Does this have a manual? Does Mighty Gunvolt Burst have a manual? I can't, ah, oh man, it might. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Let's find out. Yeah, okay. No reversible cover art, but we do have inside cover art and a cart and a manual. A manual. 
This makes me happy. You know, a lot of these limited run games now, it's just like a little piece of paper. I mean, at least they give you something, but you know, this isn't a, a giant manual. I doubt there's a note section in the back of it, but it tells you about some of the characters. That's cool. I can get down with that. Let's see if there's a note section. There is a note section. <laughs> All right. I dig it. All right. Anyway, let's mighty gunvolt burst. Let me play this thing for just a little bit and let you guys know what I think. So before I talk about Mighty Gunvolt Burst, I do want to say that when I put the Persona 5 Strikers cartridge into my Nintendo Switch, I don't recall there being any type of download necessary. So I guess if they put the whole game on the cart, that's awesome. Uh, if you know anything about that, let us all know in the comments. But anyway, Mighty Gunvolt Burst. I think this is the best game in the Gunvolt series of games that I've played yet. NT Creates knocked it out of the park with this one. I haven't played it a ton, just like Persona 5 Strikers, but I have put about three hours into this, and I like what I played, and when I'm at work and I get off, like, this is the first thing I grab my Switch and I start playing Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Um, this is, like, one of those games, if a game is really good, I'll pursue it on the PS4, or if a game's good on the PS4 and it came out on the Switch, I will pursue it on the Switch. S Prayed, uh, the M2 Shot Trigger stuff, uh, you know, stuff like that. But, yeah, I really like this. It's, like, Mega Man on steroids like Mega Man X level of gameplay and there's characters and all the characters have different abilities and there's like dumbed down versions of the kind of things that you can do and like the first uh, couple Gunvolt games that you can do in here just like dumbed down versions of it so yeah I like what I played here I like the sprite work the music is on point I wish I had a CD soundtrack of the music for this game just like I wish I had a CD soundtrack of the music for uh, that GGLS3 game that M2 just got everyone together to produce. But anyway, I recommend it if you can get it for a, a decent price. I, again, I, I had to pay 60 for it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's out there. Maybe maybe Best Buy will get some copies of this and sell it for like 30, 40 bucks. That'd be great. But Mighty Gunvolt Burst, recommend it on the Switch. But I guess if you can find it for the PS4, I'd get that too. Guys, the flea market is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So these are a couple games I found at the flea market or I guess over the past week um, that are pretty notable. This is really all I got. If I get anything else, you'll see it later on in the video. But the Konami Classics Arcade Hits, um, and there's 15 games on here. Gradius is on here. The arcade or an arcade version of uh, Contra is on here. Um, this shows you some stills of some of the stuff that's on here. It is complete, and this one I've never seen before, but I found it at the flea market. So yeah, this was the big find. This was fifteen bucks. It is used. It has the game stickers uh, stickers on there. I wrapped this in plastic, so this sticker is actually not on the case itself. But I don't I don't feel like getting into the plastic. Just know this thing is complete. It's in great condition. It has its manual, all the inserts. Fifteen bucks. Like, come on, man. I could, I never see this. Like, I never see this stuff. Like. I'm, I'm just, yeah, like I said, the flea market's like a box of chocolates. Um, Mega Man Extreme on the Game Boy. I guess this is like a Game Boy Color game. Um, I found the second one recently. There's actually a copy at a game store in the mall. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. You know, I'm looking for a game. I never find it. Then I, I do find it. Then I find like multiple copies. But anyway, Mega Man Extreme and Outrun Europa. Now the mute, and this was a uh, $9.00. I don't ever see this either, and the music on this is outstanding, and these are pretty much like uh, Master System games, so I've been really getting into the Game Gear. Now, I had one as a kid. I don't have one now, but I think I'm going to get like a, a modded Game Gear. I might get like a Retron 5 and one of those 3-in-1 adapters, so yeah, this is just some uh, some cool stuff that I found at the flea market just this past week, and like I said, the flea market is like, it's like a Forrest Gump movie, you know, that saying in the Forrest Gump movie, it's like a box of chocolates. That's how the flea market is, and this is just some of the what I consider to be some of the better stuff that I found. All right, so this is my last set of pickups, at least for this video. I got both of these games at a place called Just Press Play. It's in York, Pennsylvania. There's four Just Press Play locations, at least that I'm aware of. There's another one in Lancaster. I think there's two of them in Lancaster. There's one somewhere else. I don't know. These are from the one in York, and I've had a lot of luck finding games at the one in York. They got the limited run games. Um, I don't know why I got, the, you know, I got this because the price on this is getting up there. This is a uh, metal slug anthology on the PS4, um, 50 yeah, video games. New York has it for 40. If you, uh, watch that game collectors video, he just, uh, he wasn't real happy with the way this was ported over. And I don't think anyone like uh, M2 got their hands on it, unfortunately, but, uh, 
I'm sure the games are actually on the disc, so, you know, at least that's a good thing, although I do own this on the Wii, the PSP, the PS2, I'm sure I have the ROMs on my phone, and <laughs> you know, but, uh, yeah, online on eBay, this is kind of a uh, pricey, and the place I got this, Just Press Play in York, Pennsylvania, uh, I asked them if they had Metal Slug Double X, and they said, well, no, but they're going to order me a copy, so they're going to have a copy for me next weekend uh, there, so if you're in the Pennsylvania area, Just Press Play has these, and all the other stores had Double X, it's just the, um, the one store I went to in York, they, in New York, they have copies of Anthology. They're just sold out of Double X. But if you, any of the other locations have copies of Double X, including both locations in Lancaster. So, anyway, Metal Slug Anthology. And um, Jay and Silent Bob uh, Mall Brawl, they actually had this on the NES as well. But that copy with the box and manual and everything, it was like $75. Uh, of course, I'm going to get this on the Switch. And hopefully, this is a pretty good beat-em-up. I'm, I'm hopeful, you know, I... You know, Scott, a lot of times games like this, I get the digital version, but um, I'm just trying to support the store and keep physical games alive by buying games like this. So hopefully this thing's all right. And if I like this game, I'm going to, I'll probably upload some gameplay footage and maybe do a video on it if it's good. Because I do like me some beat-em-ups. I've been playing a lot of them. But uh, yeah, this uh, just seemed interesting. So that's what I got. So anyways, guys, until next time, peace.